What is up, YouTube? Welcome back to another video on high altitude investing. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about Bitcoin and where I personally think the price action is going from here. But before we get started, if you're not a subscriber to my channel already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button right now, as well as sharing this video with your friends and joining the links for the Discord in the description box below. Been getting a lot of new VIP members and a lot of new Discord members in general, and I'm really excited to see the group growing through this bull market and through all of these moves that we've been seeing inside of Bitcoin and the different altcoins. It's really fun to be sharing with you guys my personal analysis. So without further ado, let's get straight into the video. So I've been getting a lot of questions right now about Bitcoin and people are wondering whether Bitcoin has bottomed out at current price and is going to go up from here or whether we could see another leg lower. And I personally think we will actually see another leg lower. So I'm going to talk a little bit about what I'm kind of seeing from an Elliott Wave perspective and what's suggesting that to me currently. You guys, I know you probably don't want to hear that because I see a lot of people that have leveraged longs right now, a lot of people that are in unrealized losses, and the idea of another low coming inside of this market really, really scares a lot of people. But that's probably one of the reasons, or at least a contributing factor, as to why it actually will drop. Because you guys, when there's too much leveraged longs, the wells have to take all of those leveraged longs and liquidate them before they can send the price skyrocketing back up. And that's kind of what I'm expecting to happen here in Bitcoin. But let's talk about what's going on from an Elliott Wave perspective a little bit here for you guys so you actually understand why I'm personally bearish. So first of all, as you guys know, five waves causes an ABC correction. And what we've currently seen so far is five waves up inside of Bitcoin. What's really interesting to me is that a lot of people have flipped bullish already, assuming that this is the bottom of the move and that we're going to go higher from here. So there is kind of some things pointing out for me personally as to why that isn't the case. So let's go into the one hour time frame and let's talk a little bit about how ABC corrections work because there's Fibonacci relationships inside of ABC corrections. And one of the things that happens inside of an ABC correction is you get an A wave, you get a B wave, and then you get a C wave lower. Now, the B wave actually tests a specific Fibonacci level on the way down. So if we measure this level right here, the B wave, most of the time, this is a Elliott wave Fibonacci rule, is that the B wave should reject at the 50% or the 618 level before going lower. And what happens is there's actually subwaves inside of the wave. So what we're looking here right now and what I see in Bitcoin personally is I see one, two, three, four, five waves down. So this is going to be our A wave down. So let's take our Elliott wave tool right here and we'll put an A. And then we're making a B wave right now as we speak. And I personally think it's very likely that the B wave is actually done, that we have rejected off the B wave resistance level and that we're going to panic and correct here lower for a C wave. So what I'm seeing here is if we take this five wave and we measure from the five wave down to the bottom of this five wave, which is the bottom of the A wave, you guys can see that we're rejecting off the 50% fib ratio. And so the fibby. So you guys with us rejecting off the fibby right here, I personally think that this Bitcoin rise is a fibby itself, <laughs> a lie, and we actually will see another leg lower here. But there are some things, you know, that can invalidate this count because I have people asking me, oh, well, Dallin, how come you're just only sharing the bearish perspective? Of course, you guys, inside of my VIP group, I have details about exactly what levels to watch for to invalidate the different counts that could be going on right now. But I'm personally sharing with you guys my primary trading plan because if 
the invalidation actually occurs, that is the point where I will change my trading plan. But I'm not going to jump the gun, change my trading plan early or anything like that because I do see more downside risk. And so changing my trading plan and going against that before any invalidation event actually occurred would be a really bad idea. I've done you know that before in the past while I was learning trading. And it's never been beneficial for me to change my trading plan when I haven't had an invalidation. When I make my trading plan, I always have levels that invalidate that current count. And when that level is reached, then I can change my plan because new information was brought into the market. But until then, I just will not change my trading plan because you should stick to your trading plan. So what I personally think is going to happen here, you guys, is that we will see a C wave lower because of that rejection off that 50% Fibonacci level. And we will test these lower support levels in Bitcoin before we return to the bullish trend. And then we can go ahead and blow people away from here. So that's what I personally see in the market, you guys. Like I said, there is levels that would invalidate that count. And really the way to see that is when you measure from the five wave down to the zero wave, what actually happens is you can use that 50% level and that 65% Fibonacci level as the area that would invalidate the count. Because obviously, you guys, if this B wave were to get up above any of those Fib levels, the 50% or the 618, then it would probably be leaning more towards a bullish scenario because we wouldn't have properly formed a B wave and a C wave couldn't happen after that because we wouldn't have the structure for it. But you guys, I just don't see that. I think that we're rejecting currently already. I think that we're going to reject further from here. And it would really surprise me if we get anywhere near that 618 level. In fact, if we get anywhere near that 618 level, it would actually start to, to make me a little bit more bullish, even if we weren't broken above this 618 level quite yet just because of the fact that we have so much downtrending resistance along here that if we broke out and tested the 618 level um, and and we weren't able to get above it then I would definitely be leaning towards a bearish level but if we were able to actually get above that 618 level with any conviction at all then we would definitely be leaning towards a bullish scenario in the market. But I don't see it, you guys. I see a lot of downtrending resistance, a lot of rejections, and I see a pretty clear ABC up wave right here. And that ABC up wave should lead to more downside. It should lead to a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 impulse down to complete the ABC correction. So that's my honest view, you guys, on the markets. Not going to change my trading plan not going to flip bullish on you guys just because people are asking for bullish counts. Yes, of course, I have my scenarios in place. I have my trading plans in place. And if new information enters the market, I will change my trading plan and be ready to profit and trade the market in whatever direction I need to. But until then, I'm going to stick with my trading plan. And you guys, the greed index is showing less greed than we had previous, but we're still in extreme greed. Right now we're at a 76 extreme greed when before we were at a 94 and a 95. So I am kind of watching this. I would like to see this drop into the middle area and people start to get kind of scared before the bottom of this move is actually in place. So I am watching for that. Like I said, you guys, if we do get up above that 618 level and this extreme greed level is actually just staying constant. I guess this could be enough of a correction, but I just don't see it. I think that we will drop lower. So I'm not going to I'm not going to suggest that you guys just start panic buying into the market right now. I'm personally keeping my US dollar waiting for a bigger correction and then I will buy that blood when I actually see it. So that's my view on the market, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this update. Go ahead and hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, share this video with your friends, 
Click the links in the description to join the VIP program. I have a 20% discount running for a couple more days. So you're going to want to make sure that you guys take advantage of that. I've been getting a lot of new members, a lot of people really excited about the calls that I've been sharing inside of the group, my targets, my downside targets, and all of the details about what's going on inside of the market. So make sure if you guys are ready to transform your trading to go ahead and check that. Links are in the description for that. And I look forward to seeing you guys in future updates. As always, stay profitable out there.